Hello students, this is the third part of my lecture on the same topic that is nitrogen fixation. So this is, in this I will, we will again discuss about the fixation of the nitrogen by the various types of bacteria which are present in the soil and they are also present in the nodules of some plants and in these nodules, these microorganisms, they just use the atmospheric nitrogen to form nitrogen compounds like nitrates, nitrites, etc, etc. So before starting with it, I am Dr. Preeti Mathur, Associate Professor, Department of Zoology, SPC, Government College, Ajmer. As I told you in my previous lecture that some plants, leguminous plants especially, they have, for example, pisum satayavum, they have nodules in their plants. Some may have nodules in their stems, some may have, some plants may have nodules on their leaves, etc, etc. So, the, sometimes these nodules are present in the roots and generally these root nodules are found in leguminous plants. So the formation of root nodules in legumes, how is it formed? First root nodules form are due to infection of rhizobium. They are formed by the infection of rhizobium. Secondary, free living bacteria growing near root of legumes are unable to fix nitrogen in free condition. Roots of the legumes secrete some growth factors, helps in fast multiplication of bacteria. For example, Pisum sativum secretes homo serine also carbohydrate containing protein, lactins over their surface. This helps in recognition and attachment of rhizobial cells. The rhizobial cells have carbohydrate receptor on their surface. Lactins interact with the carbohydrate receptor of rhizobial cells. They occur between root hairs and young root hair. Bacteria enter the roots through soft infected root hairs. Tips are deformed and curved. Tubular infection thread is formed in the root hair cell and bacteria enters into it. So, viewers, in this light, you can see the transverse sections of these leguminous plants in first part you can see the epidermal cell, soil particles, root hair nucleus, root hair, cortical parenchyma cells and bacteria. These bacteria in the second portion you can see curved tip of root hair. From here rhizobia it is entering invagination point is over here which is shown in this diagram. In the third part you can see how this bacteria it enters from the fine root and then see the curved portion over here the root here this is invagination point and from here the root here nucleus till here this um, bacteria it enters. And then you can see the tubular infection thread. In this slide also, 
you can see the parent cycle and the dermis steely stimulated meristematic area then epidermis cortical parenchyma diploid cell infection thread also is seen in this diagram curved root hair tetrapoid cells endodermis epidermis cortical cortical parenchyma young nodule infection thread then curled root hair and then tetraploid cells now you can see and then diploid cell is formed you can also see this and the boundary of stimulated area all these are present in endodermis pericycle steely so in the f part of the diagram you can see the transverse section of the plant nodule in which in the outer ring you can see the cortex present then the stilly and thirdly the root nodule also is very obvious in this diagram in this slide there are colorful cells which are shown here yes, clearly you can see in the first diagram first part root hairs are present and then rhizobium bacteria are also present how the root hairs they come in contact with rhizobium bacteria now in the second part you can see the infection thread which is entered through the root hair see the infection thread is so clear in the third diagram you can see the bacteroid vacuole clearly and a nodule is also formed over here this is the position in the leguminous plants so after entry new cell wall is formed tubular infection contains mycopolysaccharides where bacteria embedded and start multiplication it grows much and reaches the inner layers of cortex and the bacteria is released it induces the cortical cells to multiply which result in the formation of nodule on the surface the bacterial cells multiplies and colonize in the multiplying host cells after the host cells are completely filled bacterial cells becomes dormant it, they are also called as bacteroids they float in like hemoglobin reddish pigment in cytoplasm of host cells efficient oxygen scavenger maintains steady state of oxygen stimulates atp production present studies indicates that lega hemoglobin is not essential nitrogenous compounds synthesized is translocated through vascular tissues groups of rhizobia surrounded by double membrane originated from host cell wall bacterioids lack firm wall osmotically liable after telling you lots about this topic i stop here and i complete my third part over here of my lecture thanking you all very much for patiently hearing me if you have any query students you can just email me my email address is given below my name my name is dr preeti mathur associate professor department of zoology spc government college ajmer thank you